Howdy folks, welcome back to another Top Tumblr Post episode, today's episode 115. If you enjoy the video, feel free to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it. Without further ado, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Calling someone named Daniel Dan is normal, but calling someone named Michael Mike feels forbidden. Calling someone named William Billy feels like casting a curse. Calling someone named the Cherry Azach feels like spitting in God's face as he asks you to bow to him. I think instead of the woman taking her husband's name when they get married or doing the hyphenated thing, couples should just smash their last names together. So like if a smith married a Grabowski you could be Smabowski or Grabith or Grasmithski. And then as the generations go on the names just get more and more ridiculous. Girl Scouts encounter Bigfoot the most frequently. Part of their oath is to keep him a secret because he's very kind and makes up 30% of their revenue due to his fervent love for Thin Mints. As a Girl Scout leader, I'm telling you that this is not true. And any former Girl Scout that says it is, should think about what they are saying and what oaths they may have sworn in the past. Anti-choice people who argue. What if you had been aborted, are powerless in the face of millennial lust for death. Welcome to America, me thinking about not actually being born. What about cracking open a cold milkshake? As we all know, the milkshake brings the boys to the yard. The presence of the boys is a prerequisite for the cracking open of a cold one. But cold ones do not have any inherent boy attracting abilities. Milkshakes, however, do. All else being equal, the boys would proceed to the milkshake yard. While it is possible to announce the presence of cold ones in the hope of attracting some boys, the pull of the milkshake is much more powerful by comparison. Mind you, all of this nonsense hinges on whether or not the boys are back in town. I'm so baffled, I sent the new hire the training guide, and he edited it, he rewrote the training guide, excuse me, what, power move, he's your boss now. Welcome to your first day. If you put a milkshake in one yard and crack a cold one in another yard, which yard would the boys go to? Scrodding is boys. Frick. Putting Hamilton on shuffle is risky because a soft song like Dear Theodosia will end and then suddenly there's deafening gunshot and you'll jump and be all leader you yield. Hey guess what? What? No you have to guess. How you wanna be called sir or daddy but can't host, you not even the head of your household but wanna start dominating in mine. Every time I remember that lesbian couple that have marble statue of the two of them embracing and sleeping on a bed together over where their graves will be because the artists didn't believe they would be able to be married before they died. So what they couldn't have in life they could have in death. I freaking break down. If you're ever in an Irish speaking part of Ireland, Gail touched, and you see a mother with her child, tell her I and paste. It's a beautiful way of saying your motherhood glows with radiance and grace. There is no English equivalent for this so give it a go. Last time I trusted an Irish guy I walked home at 4am with my bra in my handbag so let's see. Eat the child. Ah yes. Never trust the Irish. It's just a modest proposal. <laughs> you think I'm walking around the house with a blanket around my shoulders because I'm cold but in actuality it is my cloak and I'm on an adventure. The fridge. There and back again. Desolation of cake. Yeah libraries are cool but have you ever found a library with a secret doorway disguised as a bookshelf that leads to a smaller, hidden library filled with ancient books full of mysteries and forgotten knowledge, me neither and I'm sad about it. You know how in Greek myths people who die tragically sometimes get placed among the stars by the gods, call that, call that a, it's okay, take your time, constellation prize. There is a difference between. Finding someone aesthetically pleasing, being shrekshally attracted to someone, being romantically attracted to someone. Why is that so hard for some people to understand? They're bloody complicated, man. Oh, it's I not don't complicated know. complicated at all. It boils down to this: finding someone shrekshally attractive. I want to have shreks with you. Finding someone romantically attractive. I want to date you. Finding someone aesthetically pleasing. I want to draw you. 
an abandoned potato sorting station near Krasnosilka, Ukraine with an unusual cantilever design. The concrete block at the end forms the counterweight of the structure, creating the impression it floats over the fields. Hal's moving potato sorting station. Any room for dessert Mr. Banner? I wanted some but I'm way too full. This makes me so angry. I'll have the tiramisu. Room for dessert. If God supposedly made humans in his own likeness what is the deal with apes was he just like me if I were a ugly hairy bastard lol. Go back I want to be monkey! Hey, what do a selkie and a ziplock bag have in common? Resilable. I have no idea why this made me laugh out loud as hard as it did. We should have an opposite Valentine's Day where we send unfortunate things in hideous boxes to people we dislike on purpose, literally every day on this website. Yo sometimes I just forget leafy sea dragons exist and I just... I share a planet with these funky little men. I feel honored. Fun fact about me is that when I was a kid I'd write capital E's with as many of those little horizontal lines as possible and I'd call them ladderies and adults freaking hated them. Hello. Artistic rendition. That thing eats grill. Go skydiving at the beach. Lifehackable.com. This is not a life hack. If you do this you will die. It is a mathematical certainty. Reject modernity. Embrace tradition. Bring it back. EBDB. Heaven. Heck. Turbo Heck. Cosmology. Way sharks can steal your girl. 1. The shark eats you. That was the whole dream. You possess the shark and now you have both shark and girl. Ends my father's bloodline. Sorry, you were rude to me so now you get no grandchildren. My chakra is strong don't come near me or you'll feel your blood being siphoned with medical equipment. Your chakra may be strong but my rocks are stronger. Going from today is a good day too. I hate my life. Takes me approximately 2.6 seconds. I wish I could illegally download clothes. The boy who bought the Guinness Book of World Records at the Scholastic Book Fair in school now owns a slick Ferrari but has no one to love. I bought a funny pen. Okay so you're in debt. I bought books at the book fair. Look at this freaking nerd. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well you should be cause you are dirt! You make me sick you big baby! Listen Eggy, as long as we're already here, how about taking in some of the London sites? Just two guys being bros, taking in the sights. They are married, and to miniature turtle dragon and socialist mad scientist, living their best lives. Rarasp it in 10 months into quarantine. WYD if you find out the girl you like hates veggie tails, burn at stake. If it are a romantic a Shrekshill students aren't making puns about straight A's I don't know what to do with my life. I'm pretty much 3% human and 97% stress. Been feeling like this lately. Dark Macadamia. Dark Macadamia mood board. The Super Bowl or whatever I'm not American. Oh no but is going to be horny after this. Please let Ty be a normal algebra class, with the math, unfreaking likely, foolo, untuned magic school bus theme. When someone's a real wise guy, but they made one fatal mistake, you're a real wise guy, but you made one fatal mistake. Here's noises at night, well this is it this is the end for me I had a good life. Gets shampoo in my eyes. I guess I'm blind now how am I ever going to see my firstborn child? Heart is beating fast. I think I'm having a heart attack is this what cardiac arrest is? A cop walks by. Here I go about to get arrested I probably murdered someone. 
taking a test, don't take your eyes off of this paper you will get caught cheating and get kicked out of school and amount to nothing. Gets a sunburn. Great now I have skin cancer how will I tell my parents? Tripping over something, I guess my leg will have to be amputated why did this happen to me? Relationship goals, having one. Status, Rain, older person on Facebook, us too, so badly needed as well. Tell your mom I said hi, how is the family, tell everyone hi from us, we miss you all so much, wish we could be there, you're a beautiful young woman. So your blog is mainly about cats and hating men, sounds like a cliche, old cat lady in a novel, lonely sad life, this is me calling the police. My newborn child is exploiting an abusive power dynamic by crying until I give them milk. My son is vandalizing my home and gaslighting me by drawing on my walls and then saying he didn't do it. Things I used to laugh at. Actual jokes. Things I laugh at now. Yardsard. Garlic. I wear this every day. Literally the best part of Breaking Dawn is Renis me getting sad that she doesn't sparkle like the others, and Bella saying, you're the prettiest, followed immediately by Edward saying I have to disagree right in front of her. Like I get Edward can't turn off the Bella compliment machine but imagine being self-conscious about your looks and your mom is like oh honey I think you're the best looking one here, and then your dad walks, in like what no she's not. Where do I see myself in 5 years? Hopefully replying to multi-paragraph work emails with cool thanks sent from my iPhone. You wish you had a retention lanyard buddy. Tactical docking. I'm going to attack you. Controversial take maybe but I think if they executed it correctly, Danny Phantom would be the only kids show I'd actually be interested in a dark gritty remake of. Live action but Danny can say frick and also is trans. My thoughts exactly. Socialism and communism are good cause it's equal for everyone. Define to me what those two terms are Karl Marx. I do not care. I will clap you in Fortnite. 1v1 me. I'm having a fit over this interaction. Well, the calf in my poem has three heads but I guess yours is fine too. Me waking up in the morning. MMMM bed soft and comfy. Me refusing to go to bed at a reasonable hour at night. MMMM screen bright and funny. The fact that I haven't felt the sensation of being double bounced on a trampoline in literal years is honestly sick and twisted. Twitter check marks being like, we are all to blame for the smear campaign against Britney Spears you woo. Okay I was busy being a child lol. Who wants to come over and just like, come to my backyard with me and then just, scream, for 3 hours. I have more selfies than friends. Points at romance, what the heck is that? When they had a bad day and wants to talk about it. George or Barks, I posted this at 3am and I remember thinking it was the funniest thing in the world I was laughing so hard when will I die. Accidentally walking in on your friends getting yelled at. Sees an airplane at night, that's a UFO. Is there any more damning criticism of an academic book than the solitary question mark penciled in the margin? Wash his hands with my tears. What did the buffalo say when his son left for college? Bison. You wanna be my valentine. I'm so cute you have a crush on me. This is a mean thing but man I wish Endgame was slated for a 2020 release and then after months of delaying the release date they had to release it on Disney plus LMFAO can you imagine? Why is it called a paternity test and not a pop quiz? Please stop romanticizing skeleton heck. Um, no. When someone uses an abbreviation and I have to look it up. Take it bro you need this. Anti horny tabs. 
me into viewing a bird on my porch, so is it scary to fly in the rain? Thank you all so much for watching episode 115. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Again, if you did, feel free to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, it really helps out the channel grow. We're almost 12,000 subs. Well, not almost, but we're on the road to 12,000 subs. So uh, let's keep the momentum up. Uh, Q&A should be out hopefully the next weekend, sometime this week, next week, sometime in there. I'm really excited for you all to see it. Also, let me know how you like this format. I made the, I try to keep the intro less than 20 seconds with a longer outro so that it's easier for people to skip through. Let me know if this is a good compromise. If not, I can just completely remove the intro and only have an outro, but I am trying to retain the intro if possible. I don't think I have any other points of contention in order to talk, to talk about this episode or this outro. So I hope that you all have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is for you. Happy Valentine's Day, and I will see you all tomorrow with episode 116. Peace out, guys.